everyone, good morning, welcome to another day of 365, and today is going to be a normal day. I'm so excited for just a normal day. I'm going to head to work, and then I get to head home, and hopefully do next to nothing. Yesterday took a lot out of me, uh, work and home inspection, and then a showing, so we were out super late. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired. This whole process is getting me down, but anyways. Who are you this morning? Koala! Voila. Are you in the koala matching this morning? Uh, so you're already for your teddy bear picnic today? Uh, Are you excited? Uh, my teacher is bringing breezes. Ooh. Well, uh, Leslie and Taylor worked on making those uh, koala ears and running out to the store to get a koala sweater and all that good stuff last night. So she is excited that she gets to dress up for her teddy bear picnic. I'm off to work. Kids should have fun at school today. We're nearing the end of the school year, so I know uh, I know their excitement is building a bit. Um, yeah, so I'll see you later. What are you today? A koala. Let's see. Look at that. You got the yellow ribbon and the nose. Can you, can you close your mouth? There you go. You're so <laughs> cute. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Good morning guys. So I kind of wanted to show you a nifty little thing that I picked up yesterday. Um, I had to take Taylor into the thrift store to find her something that she could wear as a koala today. Um, and while I was there for six dollars I found three skeins of really really good yarn. Let me show you. Check out this beautiful yarn. So we get really close you can see that it's like kind of multicolored and it's it's not just solid, it's really nice. So this is the Heathers collection from Cascade Yarn. That is a hundred percent Peruvian Highland Merino wool. I got three of those, two bucks a piece. Pretty awesome. I mean it's not like they're super expensive yarns to begin with. They're about, I don't know, ten dollars a scheme Canadian anyway. Um, so I mean it is a significant savings. It's just really cool when you find stuff like that because I'm really good at finding vintage yarns at uh, the thrift store. Like 75% wool, 80% wool, and some really good old fashioned super wash that they used to use for socks and whatnot. I'm really good at finding vintage wool at the, the thrift store, but I've never actually found something that wasn't like vintage and still really good quality. Um, typically when I find more modern things, it's, it's the, kind of like the crappy acrylic, but no, this is the first time I've ever found a really nice 100% wool uh, that's not older than 10 years old at the thrift store, so I'm quite proud of myself. Yeah, it's How was Teddy Bear Picnic today? Good. What? I ate banana chips. You ate banana chips? Is that what teddy bears eat? Yeah. Did your class like your makeup? Asking where who did it. Did you say you or mommy? My, my koala. Your koala's head, head fell off. Got here. <laughs> the head fell off. You decapitated your koala. You killed your stuffed animal. I killed my stuffed animal. So Brian and I are going to go to got in touch with the real estate agent today. Uh, well, one of them, our real estate agent, is actually out of town right now. And uh, we're dealing with his daughter-in-law, actually. Hello, Jonathan. What do, you want? <laughs> what do I want? So they told us that we are going to do an open house this weekend, which is spectacular. But one thing I would like to do before that happens is we're out. Out. deal with this out. space wall yeah. in John's room. And not to mention, I've got stickers all over the room. Uh, we redid John's room, what, John, about three, four years ago? Um, uh, about like two or three years ago. I think it was after Allie, or before Allie was born, so it'd have no, to be. No, no, it was after Allie. It was after Allie was born? Yeah, because she slept in here, then I moved in here. Remember? Maybe. I don't know if Allie ever slept in this room, actually. Yeah, she did. Maybe. Anyway, yeah, I moved in so here. we are, I'm going to take all the stickers off the wall. And. Yeah possibly paint this room. This wall needs to be painted almost definitely because that is a painted space mural, but it'd be pretty easy to get all these stickers down. So I'm gonna start working on that. Well, 
I got most of the stars down. Yeah. We're thinking about leaving this one corner, kind of an accent corner. Um, I still have stickers to pull down off of this wall and up above, and uh, then we'll be ready to paint. I honestly don't know how much we're gonna do. I know that this down here could use a touch up. That's all old paint and then that needs that because the desk hit it as we moved it in. Yeah. But for the most part the other walls, oh no this wall here has a mark there too. I think the whole room could just use a touch up. I think, I'm thinking about doing, oh you can't see me at all. I'm thinking about doing these walls in a completely different color so that you've got dark on the bottom and light on top but that means more coats of paint whereas if I just paint it the same color it's one coat to kind of cover up any dings and scratches and then I don't have to worry about anything else so and since everything we're doing right now is to go quickly I might just do that. Luckily we still have the paint downstairs in the crawl space so we won't have to spend any money on this project. This is just a freshening up for this room. Alright, all of the stickers have been removed. You're a weirdo. <laughs> Except for in that corner and on this wall right here. Yeah. I think that that's fine. It's not too distracting. You being weird. You're such a goof. I love you though. Brian's downstairs in the crawl space looking for the paint. It's steak night. And baked potatoes. And green beans. And I really hope these taste good because when I pulled them out of the freezer yesterday, they were incredibly freezer burn. So they got marinated for like 24 hours. So fingers crossed they don't taste like freezer burnt meat. I'm gonna go outside and grab some of my chives because that's what I like on my baked potatoes. Well, today we signed off on all the conditions on our offer on the new house, except for the sale of our current house. So as soon as we sell this place, we are good to go. Everything else is done. Yeah, like literally all we have to do is get an accepted offer on our current house and then we're moving. So that being said, we got to get ready. We're having an open house this weekend. Uh, we got to get the house cleaned up and we're actually, we've decided to peel all the stickers off of John's wall and repaint all the, the uh, space theme stuff and tidy up his room. So me and John went out to the hardware store tonight to get another can of blue paint. We actually had the can from the original paint job here a few years ago. So we were able to color match perfectly. I'm gonna get the walls tidied up, get all the stickers off. I got a bucket of water and I'm gonna get them all scrubbed down and we will start painting tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, open house is Saturday afternoon, lots of time. So I found this old picture frame in the basement. It's got plexiglass on it, not real glass, but it's doing just fine to hold these window stickers on. We have window stickers on the wall, so uh, they are actually peeling off quite nice, and we're gonna try to salvage as many of them as we can. So I'm gonna stick them out of this picture frame and hope for the best. It looks super weird <laughs> with nothing on the walls in here. It's definitely, definitely strange. This is actually the second way we've had this room. This is the room that was John's nursery when we first moved in here. Oh, a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago, nine years ago, before he was born and we painted this room. It was yellow above the chair rail and green below it. And we had uh, like farm animal, wallpaper, not wallpaper, but like the border, and uh, gingham curtains. It was, yeah, it was a long time ago. But all three kids used the room like that for a little bit anyway. And uh, now it's now it's getting painted again, hopefully to sell it and for other kids to decorate as they want, so. All right, that's it for today's vlog, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a happy, friendly comment down below. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our crazy adventure, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.